Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into more of the Host Network, I believe it is, or Host Network. We're diving into the decentralized exchange today. I realized that this was live. I didn't know that, I thought it was still under development. So um, technically, this is the testnet, so it is under development, but it is live on the testnet. So I will show you how to get Host testnet tokens and yeah, how how to swap your tokens and follow upon the bridge task that we did in the previous video. So if you want to check out that video first, um, I'll put the link down below. But if you've followed along, you know, before we get started, I appreciate all of you for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn and cool rewards we earn along the way. Sorry for screaming in your ear. I realized I was close to the microphone. But cool rewards like the Host Network. Host is the EVM compatible network with native yield for your crypto assets. Simply simplify DeFi with the Host Network. So what the hell is this? <laughs> Take all the pieces of blockchain technology and you have the Host Network DeFi protocol. So they do have some pretty cool stuff that I've shared on my Twitter, I should say. So check me out here. I post a lot of stuff that I can't get to on YouTube like this from the Host Network, which they have this bioculture, which is the second bioculture in their little experiment formula. So this one was a, a free mint I think it's over now, but yeah, they have this stuff going on where you can mint these NFTs and one of them was free. The other one was like $5. I think this one was $5 on the base network. So I do share stuff like this on Twitter. So follow me there. And also in my discord, you know, we share a lot of alpha in here, go to the welcome, go be asked a few questions, go to the rules and guidelines, click the thumbs up and you'll have access to all these amazing channels. We got a lot of great, great people in there sharing their knowledge and asking great questions. So I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, let's just dive right in the host network. So let me see the good place. I saved this. So I have a bookmarks folder right here with all my daily tasks and I'll share, I'll share these in here, but this is the testnet instructions page, right? So you have the bridges, decks and lending and the DAO. So I clicked there and this is the host network DEX MetaMask. Okay. Use other wallet. So there's some weird tricks that you can do with this. Yeah. It, even though it says MetaMask, like you can use other wallets, even if I wanted to use Rabby, it's, it's really weird. So let's just go to the testnet bridge first. You know, you can go to the faucet. Yeah. That's how, so the faucet one is down at the bottom. Yeah. Right here. So now it's not one anymore. It's actually 0 0.05, but that's okay. So once you get the faucet tokens from here and you're able to, you know, go here, mint the tokens from each one of these links, follow the steps. And I break it down. I break it down in the video because it gets pretty, you got to add, you know, this set of numbers and to there and add your wallet address and you're going to write a contract. So you're going to do it manually. So I'll br I break it down for you. And then you want to import your tokens per the token address that you see here. So copy that and you'll import the token address. Yeah, so import tokens or however you do it in your wallet and then you'll import or paste that address and it should come up with the symbol and there you go. And then you'll go to the bridge and oh yeah, there's a trick in the bridge that I break down. Yeah, when you go to select the token right here, you have to paste that contract address right in here and add each one of those. So wrapped Bitcoin, USDC and USDT. So each one of these you have to add in there when you when you go to bridge them over. Now when you bridge them over and you have the tokens that you need, swap. Maybe it doesn't work. Oh, oh, we have to switch in our wallet. Host network. There we go. Okay. Well, I guess I'm stuck using the Zerion wallet. Okay. So this is how you add it. You get the network name, RBC URL, all that good stuff. Save it. Okay. Now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So it looks like you got to, since I don't use the Coinbase wallet like that, um, I got to use my phone. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, unfortunately, my stuff hasn't bridged over yet, so I have stuff in limbo. Oh, my. Oh, that was weird. My mouse just 
glitched out. But that's okay. We're going to swap for some host tokens. So if you only have a little bit, if I don't know if these NFTs are even still minted or if, if they're live, but I don't I don't think so. Maybe. Okay, there's less than 2,000. So out of 15,000 NFTs available for claim, that's $5. So, yeah. So there's one of these guys, the Petri dish, and where is it at? Yeah, and watch out for fake uh, tokens. And I think, yeah, the the first one is um was claimed. Yeah, the Petri dish. I think it was um all claimed, right? Oh, these guys. Yeah, I don't think I got this one. But yeah, just check these out and see if they're still available to mint. But otherwise, you know, come here and see how many tokens can you get. Oh, wow. Interesting. Let's see. Let's see what we can get for USDC. Okay. So it looks like we are having trouble with getting some good liquidity for these swaps. So this is unfortunate as I would like to use exchange, right? You want to use the exchange testnet? I know they're not perfect. However, you know, let me see my activity up here in the top left. There's still, see, this should have some stuff there because I've been bridging. Oh, shoot. This is on hold. Oh, man. No wonder. Oh, that's a silly way of doing it. Okay. Maybe that's why this one hasn't gone through yet. Aha. See, I still fucking catch this stuff, man. So, looks like we got a lot pending, but I've processed quite a bit of transactions, and I don't see my transa uh, my funds anywhere on here. So, that's weird. I mean, you guys see that, right? Bridge to L2, to the host network, 1,000 USDC. You don't see it? Nowhere. Nope. So, I wonder if there's, like, liquidity issues on... 3.01, what do I get in Ethereum? Or can I even swap at all? Okay, so how much in Bitcoin? Okay, so 0 0.01 can get me 3.8 Bitcoin. 5,000, how much will 5,000 get me? Okay, let's say 50. Five. One. How much does one cost token get me? Yeah, I think this thing's wacky because you don't really get like a, the heck... Yeah, it's really weird. See, do we have any wrapped ETH to Bitcoin? I don't know if they're just not focused on the DEX or what, but if you can get this to work, you know, do your swap. I know it's kind of silly. Testnet should be not that bad, but also check out the send feature. If you can send any of your tokens, let's see, send it to my dog. Let's see, balance, put your wallet address in there and we will, it's just really weird that <clears throat> all those transactions that I processed haven't arrived on my chain or on the chain. So I wonder if the host network has some weird liquidity issue on the test net, but this does not seem to be working. Ooh, maybe I have to... Do it on my phone. That's right. I forgot. Okay, yep. It's right here. All right. I'm like pressing this button, wondering where the fuck my transaction is going. <laughs> okay, okay. We're back on it. We're back on it. So, damn, I got like four or five. I got a bunch that I, that I submitted. <laughs> okay, so I should have some that disappear. Yep. Looks like I have sent some. It shows up in my wallet that I've sent it. Then let's go to the pools. So liquidity pools, since we got some Bitcoin and Ethereum, we'll put a little bit of each. Let's edit this. Make it the best for stable pairs. Uh, yeah, most pairs. All right, full range. And okay, we'll put the maximum amount of wrapped Bitcoin. Forgot that it's on my phone. Good thing too, because it almost went dim. 
then I would have to log into my wallet again. All right, add this, and we will be ready to rock and roll, son. Still waiting, still waiting. Okay, if it's not working, um, I'll try again later. But yeah, you see how to do it. Give me the full range. Wow, there's really like not, I really need like another token in here, huh? Edit, full range, damn. So, uh, man, I, it seems like these are just not wanting to do anything. So I don't know what is up, dude. Okay, that seems to work. Okay, I can do this. Ooh, actually, let me go trade real quick. As if, let me try and swap for some more host because I don't want to put all of my tokens in there. Okay, man, I'm glad I'm like figuring this out because it would just be a pain in the ass. So I'm having to do this on my phone, so I appreciate y'all for riding through this. I hope it's helping some of you. Okay, and we get the approval. Anything, please? Please, sir, can I get the approval? Yes, it has been approved. Ooh, okay, this is getting silly. All right, clearly I am struggling with this right here. So let's just see what we can deposit. We can just deposit a little bit at this point. I don't even care. I just want to get a transaction through and let's see if we can confirm this because that would be great. That would be great if we can just get a transaction through and actually have a liquidity pool pair. I think I was just doing too much because I didn't need to put the whole thing in there. So that's why you want to follow me on X because I'll share stuff like this, you know, when it happens or as soon as I find out. But yeah, you can still get those. Oh, it looks like our transaction was submitted and now we have a liquidity pool pair. Very nice. So yeah, I I don't know why I didn't share this, but here you go. I'll do this right now. Base network. There you go. All right. So now let's check out, ooh, where do we go? Okay, the DEX instructions, and that is, yeah, okay. I thought there was a DAO section of this, but um, I am gonna fill out one of this, this bug report. Maybe not tonight, because I need to do a lot of stuff, but I will be doing a bug report on this, the trade function is like all kinds of wacky and let me see let me just make sure that a little bit doesn't make it change yeah see it's giving me like all kinds of funky stuff but i'll go ahead and do that another time so there you go host network don't forget follow me on x bcr142 and in the discord which i i'll post a link in here as well appreciate you all so much and with that this is the blockchain report have a wonderful day homies peace